Shalom. I just finished a recording before I started driving and uh, I forgot something else that it was on my heart to share so I might post this later on. Um, but uh, okay so I'm very excited that I've gotten in touch with a with someone who's doing uh, prison ministry with a women's prison something that I've wanted to do for years actually ever since I was in high school and uh, I'm, I'm just really excited about it. there's a there's a process I have to go through to, to have permission certification to go through this um, but still I'm, I'm just excited about the possibilities and um, Sure, there's people who have done things that are, I mean, there's a reason why they're in prison. But I don't see the people in the prison as any different than you or I. Uh, maybe haven't, you know, I don't know who's all watching, but maybe haven't you know, taken time in prison. I don't see them as any different. You know something, that is, that's what a lot of times, that's what we think. We think if you have committed a sin with your body, physically, it's somehow worse than if you have committed a sin within your heart. And Yeshua specifically said that wasn't true. A man who commits adultery even by looking at another woman with lust. So, we're all guilty. If you have hate for your brother, for your sister, for your neighbor, for your boss, you have committed murder in your heart. And it's not any different. So we are all, we're all guilty. Um, I, I, there's no difference. It's really not that one sin is greater than the other. It's all bad. It's all bad. So, having said that, um, I wanted to share that. Uh, when it comes to the time that I actually, because it's going to be a while, I'm sure. If I actually get to do that, I, I don't know if I could get, uh, well, yeah, I don't know if I could get video or not, but it'd be awesome if I could. I'm just very excited about this op the opportunity to get to minister to women in a prison. Um, I'm going to bring, it's, I'm just so excited, I'm going to bring the harp, I'm going to bring the harp to prison. And it says in the word of God that no matter where you are, even if you, even if, uh, it was, I believe it was King David, I might be getting mixed up, but one of the leaders in, in the word saying that wherever I make my bed, even in Shaul, you know, even in the darkest place, the deepest place, there your presence will be. And God's presence, let me tell you, God's presence is not necessarily in the biggest building of a congregation. God's presence is not in the most well-advertised revival necessarily sure he can be there he can be anywhere that's something that also breaks my heart is when um I've, I've i've actually lost friends not their life you know like their life but spiritually friends too who were in love with god i've lost them for they've gone on a search for some kind of experience that they believed was being close to god God is not an experience, beloved. He's the real thing. Sure, we have experiences with Him, but you don't have to go someplace and spend a lot of money to find Him, to be closer to Him. He's right where you are. He will meet you there. He will meet you in prison. So, please be praying for me about this as I pursue this. Um, take steps to go through this because I'm just excited. Um, I know if I'm excited, our king must be really excited. <laughs> um, I'm excited to see what will happen. I just can't wait to bring the music that our king has blessed me with to the people in the prison. I just can't wait. Um, to think, who knows how many of his children are there. And are just 
waiting to be awakened from their spiritual slumber. I mean, um, I mean. So I just had to share that those things, and I'm actually almost I'm almost at Taco Bell. So I'll let you go for now. <laughs> Thank you for listening.